All right, today I'm going to show you how to scrap a hedge clipper, a gas-powered hedge clipper. Um, I already tried starting it, and when you uh, pull on the cord, you can clearly hear the uh, the piston arm slapping around inside of the cylinder. I think I think he was uh, cutting his hedges. And he like hit something, I don't know, maybe like a metal fence, and it snapped off the piston arm. It ain't worth fixing, and it ain't even really worth scrapping, because half of this is plastic, or steel. There's a tiny bit of a cast aluminum in here, and the carburetor does have some brass parts in it, but that's not really worth taking apart. It's not worth, it's not worth the time. And it says, uh... Stainless steel blade, but the magnet sticks to it, so it's low grade stainless. It ain't even really worth scrapping. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drain the gas, and You don't want to pollute the environment, so get the gasoline out of there. This is water. I know it's in an antifreeze jug, but it's water. I'm going to top it off with water so it weighs a little bit more. And I'm just going to throw this in the back of my truck and bring it to the scrapyard just the way it is. Now, I could... I could waste my time getting the cast aluminum out of there. I could smash it with a sledgehammer and get dirty aluminum price for it. I don't think it's worth the time for how, you know, little's there. So that's something you got to think of. Is it really worth the time to scrap something for what you're going to get out of it? So, yeah. Uh, if you come across stuff like this, don't waste your time with it. Unless it's, you know, worth it. Unless there's a big motor on it. This is a tiny motor. You don't waste your time with little tiny motors taking them apart and stuff. Because you're getting paid by the pound and not by the hour. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.